Are you looking for an intense five minute inner thigh, outer thigh burner? This is what you need. I would add this to every single one of your leg workouts, your inner thigh ones. It's gonna take your results to the next level because we are gonna do five minutes of pure thighs and really get that burn alive. All right, Alfie, he's ready. He's ready to burn those thighs. Let's get. started. All right, we're going to come to the center of our mat. First of all, we're going to start over onto our right side. We're going to move on to the left, but you've got five minutes. We're going to take that leg up and we're going to bring those hands onto our hips and we're going to take it into little pulses. So I want that foot turned out and I want the back leg as well. You've got to make it through to the end. The end is where the burn is going to happen. So we got to work for that burn and get that alive right from the get-go. So here we go. We have just got 30 seconds. We've got a 10 second transition and then we are going to move on to the next exercise. So pull up, stand up nice and tall and then feel that burn in your inner thighs. Here we go, turning both of those legs out and then pushing down into the foot. Now, if you need to hold on to something, no problem problem working that balance but pull that core in nice and tight lifting up and here we go we're gonna get that burn alive you've got this here we go for five four three two one hold at the top hold and release okay we're gonna take that same leg and we're gonna squish it in front of the other okay so pull that core in nice and tight and we're gonna take it across so working on that balance here we go so if you flex that foot you're gonna feel it right here so stand up nice and tall flex the foot either arms out to the side whichever's gonna work with your balance and feel the inner thigh working that's it now standing up onto that supporting leg you're gonna feel that burn happening right here oh yes it is starting to kick in already it's just five minutes adding this workout to the end of one of your routines is going to be a game changer because we are doing a burnout. What that means is we're going to test ourselves and really push it all the way through to the end. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're going to come down to the ground. Now, if you have got these, it's going to take it to a whole other level for you. That is what I'm talking about. When we are talking about really burning those inner thighs, you're going to take it at 90 degrees. Bring your legs out and tiny little pulses. Bring that chest up. If you feel tension in your neck, just relax the head down, but tuck those hips underneath. Now bring those knees just a little further away. Pull that core in nice and tight. Feel those inner thighs on fire. Relax your feet and really push those knees out to the side. You need it even more. You're going to start to feel it on the outside of your thighs as well. Tuck those hips under. Here we go. You're looking good, everybody. Come on, breathe through it. Pull that core that belly button in towards your spine relax the head give yourself a smile and you know that you're going to get through this whole workout here we go for three two one and relax remember it's just five minutes what can you do in five minutes so much but we've got to work for it so push those hips up and we're going to do the same thing pulsing out to the side now push those hips up even higher nice straight line from the knee all the way through to the hip through to your shoulders now push those hips up even higher relax the head come on inner thighs are starting to work they are engaged they are burning and we are going to feel that burn whoo, even more the second time through which is why it's so important to get through every single one of these workouts they are designed to make sure that the last exercise is going to get you crazy results by finishing it completing the set here we go. You've got another three, two, one right here. Release down. Take those back band off of your legs if you've used it. And tell you, you can grab these on our shop as well. Amazing thing to really help you get even more results. We're going to come down onto the side and we're just going to hold it at the top and we're going to pulse. So that's it. Just right here. Now squeeze. Relax the foot. I want all of the tension to be in those inner thighs. Every single burn right now is in that inner thigh. Now squeeze those glutes. Lean forward so that you've got that hip on top of each other. You're going to start to really feel it in the back of your leg or through the thighs. You're halfway through on this step. Then we're going to start all the way from the beginning. Here we go. We're going to come up to that standing position. You're going to find that one side is just easier than the other. So maybe it's this side. Maybe the first side that you did was easier. No matter what, we're going to push through it for three, two, one, and release. Okay, come all the way up to standing. And we're going to go onto that right leg. We're going to pull up through the core and we're going to lift up and we're going to take it into little pulses right here. So really think about turning that leg out, pushing down into the ground and then squeezing up and down. This is definitely my easier leg. So you're going to have the same. We just have to work a little bit harder on that other side. So lift up nice and tall. That's it. Pull that belly button in. Come on. Here we go. Now lift up that knee just a little bit more. Push down into that supporting leg. Squeeze those glutes. Feel the burn in that thigh. Here we go. You've got 10 seconds right here. We're halfway through. We've just got to keep on going. Every single rep is going to make a difference right now. We've got this for three, two, one, and release. Okay, you're going to come into that position where we're taking those swoops in and front. So get that supporting leg nice and tall. 
Fill up nice and straight. Bring those shoulders down, arms out to the side. Now flex the foot and take it across. That's it. Feel that inner thigh working. A little bit on that outer thigh as well. You're going to feel this too, but really flex that foot. Lifting up a little bit more through your chest, taking it across. Here we go. Pushing down all those fingers out to the side. The feet flat into the ground. You're halfway here. We've got this. Only just three exercises after this. We're going for that burner. Keep it going. We've got this. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale everything out. Take that leg a little bit further across for three, two, one, and release. Okay, coming down to the ground. Here we go. The final part. Let's make sure that we push through this. We're going to keep our body moving. So bringing those knees out to the side, relaxing your forehead and your head all the way down to the ground and then taking those little pulses. Now bring those legs even further out to the side. All right, I want you to work out. I don't want to have no tension on the band. I want to have full tension all the time. So really bring those legs even wider out to the side. Tuck that belly button in. Come on, you've got this. It's the burner. We're going to work through this together. We can do this all the way through. Here we go, 10 more seconds right here. Take those legs just a little bit lower down, engage the core, and then push those knees out to the side. Feel that little pulse right here. Bring it even wider out to the side for the last three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna go straight into it. Come into that bridge. Come all the way up. Squeeze those glutes underneath. Push those hips up. Now really push your knees out to the side. Even turn your feet out and give me some little pulses right here. You're gonna feel it in the outer thigh and that inner thigh. So relax the head down, relax those shoulders. Come on, we've got one more exercise after this. You are here, but push those hips up even higher. This is the exercise right here that we're gonna keep on burning. Feeling that inner thigh on fire. What are you made of today? You're gonna keep on crushing through every single time that you do a lower body workout, you do your thighs. I want you to grab this exercise right here. I want to put on this video. I want you to do it every time. Commit to yourself and just say, hey, I'm going to do this after every time to give me an extra 5% burn and release. Okay, final exercise, taking that band off over to the one side, pulling that core in nice and tight. And here we go. We're going to take it into those little pulses up and down. So keep it up the top, hips on top of each other, push down onto the mat, smile. Oh, yes. Here we go, everybody. Come on. Bringing that leg out to the side and tiny little pulses. Are your hips on top of each other? Keep on going. Now use the inner thigh, relax the foot. All of the tension right here for the final 10 seconds. You've got this. Come on, squeeze those glutes, squeeze the inner thigh. Up we go and count down with me. Bring that leg up just a little bit higher for three, two, one, and gently release. Boom. Okay, you got to promise me that every single time that you do one of our thigh workouts, that you add this afterwards to give yourself the burner to get those crazy results that you want. Woo, my name's Rebecca Louise. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It so makes such a difference when you subscribe to our channel. I've added a couple of other thigh workouts here for you as well. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope your thighs are burning.